Yeah, the 52nd edition of this race, the first one all the way back in 19... Not 52nd then, um, all the way back in 1980. Um, with a breakaway of four, Gagina in a cat, the two French riders, Inokoit Asparen and uh, for the Basque Country for Spain, and Filippo Rodolfo, the Italian rider. Two riders remained at the front, um, the 21-year-old Asparen and the man who is making a transfer to Total Energy next year, uh, Thomas Gaginar. That was at 51 kilometers to go, five kilometers out from the first of our local circuits. Yeah, and in the final hour of racing, not a lot has happened. We did see Laurent Pichon at the front of the peloton doing uh, the final pedal strokes of the job that he's done most of his career and that is working for others. Nans Peters was basically the only one in the final hour of racing um, who, who spiced things up just a little bit. But for the rest of it, Arkea Samsik and Grupa FTG kept things under control to make sure that we would end up with a bunch sprint in the streets of La Roche sur Yonne. Very small peloton here in Tour de Vendée. There's races uh, left, right and centre. Italy, um, we've got the gravel Euros. We've got uh, the race in the Ardennes. Uh, riders are still in Asia after the Tour of Langkawi. Still a very busy part of the season. So a small peloton, but despite the fact there were only 101 riders and just seven for Arkea Samsik, they really kept this race under control. Sadly, in the final, we had a crash about midway into the peloton. But the big names, they were all up front. And the final lead-out train, Donovan Grodin here for Arkea Samsic. On his wheel, Clément Rousseau. And behind Clément Rousseau is Arnaud Demar. On the wheel of Arnaud Demar, we have that little train for Groupama FDG with Bram Velte as the final lead-out man in front of Penouet. And then in seventh position in the red, Brian Coca, the winner of the 2022 Tour de Vendée. We also have uh, Thomas Bouda. We have uh, Dujardin together with um, Peter Sagan. But the sprint is and would have always been behind these two, behind uh, Kokar and uh, Demar. And one man is trying to disturb that, and that is Paul Penouet. This is uh, Bram Velt, a former winner, and now he's here for the final lead out for Paul Penouet, who stays on the wheel, goes on the left side. And now Arnaud Demar has to find that gap to get through because it's a pretty powerful sprint there by the youngster of the Grupa Mai FTG team. He tried on the left side and then tried on the right side, and that was the right side. His first one for Arkea Samsik. Thanks to a very strong team today. Just a 43.5 kilometers an hour average, and that is due to the fact that, well, in that final hour after we caught the breakaway, the peloton almost came to a complete standstill.